here in this video we will see five ways to avoid dialysis even in the advanced stages of kidney disease with a 91% success rate. Many people don't know this, but kidney disease directly causes every day more deaths than breast cancer and prostate cancer. It's a huge epidemic no one seems to care about. The worst part is that most doctors are still telling new kidney patients the same thing. There is nothing we can do. You will have to wait for dialysis. Well, they are wrong. There are ways to avoid dialysis even in the advanced stages. This is why here in Double Kini I focus on the solution rather than the problem. In the last 10 years of my career, I've spent countless hours researching the case studies and the life stories of the people who were able to avoid dialysis. I've talked to patients who were able to lower their creatinine levels in stage 4 or even 5. I've shared with you here many of these success stories. And in this video, I want to show you how this can be done from a practical point of view. So let's see 5 steps every single kidney disease patient should take to delay dialysis. Starting with number 5, take care of your vitamin intake. Vitamins are a hugely underestimated way to keep kidney disease at bay. And today, research is making big steps forward when it comes to vitamins. There is a nutrient in particular with significant kidney protecting benefits that very few people have heard about. This is vitamin U. What is vitamin U? Vitamin U is a compound mainly found in raw cabbage. It's a powerful healing nutrient at the point that the concentrated juice made from cabbage may actually be beneficial in treating peptic ulcer. But this vitamin also has other benefits. It can also help improve digestion, lower cholesterol, and help with immune health. The reason why it is interesting for us though is its kidney protecting ability. Its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antifibrotic properties have been proven useful in a study which showed that this vitamin can produce a significant decrease in histopathological changes when the kidneys are exposed to oxidative stress. Which means that vitamin U may directly protect against kidney damage. Now, this was a study done on animals, so we still want to see results on humans before supplementing vitamin U. But you can get it from foods though. Foods containing the most vitamin U include vegetables such as carrots, cabbage, celery, parsley, green onions, asparagus, and beetroot. All these foods are great for a renal diet, by the way. And obviously vitamin U is not the only vitamin that can help you. There are three vitamins that someone with kidney disease should always be keeping in great consideration. What vitamins are a must for people with kidney problems? The three most important vitamins for CKD patients are vitamin D, vitamin C, and the vitamins of the B group. All these vitamins are usually recommended to be supplemented because deficiencies are way too common and way too dangerous to be risked. This is why I've made a full video to show you the easiest way to supplement all these vitamins. It's up here if you miss it. But don't go away yet. There are some tips to greatly slow down kidney disease and help your kidneys. Sleep more! Sleeping 7 hours or more per night is linked to a better kidney health according to studies. Yes, it is a proven scientific fact that sleeping more and better can help you avoid dialysis. Not to mention that you will have a lot more energy during the day if you sleep enough. And also consider, drink water at regular intervals. Being hydrated protects the kidneys in several ways as regular water intake is needed by the kidneys to flush out excess sodium and water through urine. What many people don't know about this is that those with diabetes need this even more. Drinking enough water may help you keep your blood sugar levels within healthy limits because excess sugar is also expelled through the urine. So unless you have a water allowance, drink more water and drink more regularly. And also, Make exercising a priority. Fact, regular exercise is the only thing in the world that can treat drug resistant high blood pressure, lower cholesterol and blood sugar levels at the same time. 
And I'm not exaggerating. Regular exercise is closer to our real panacea than anything else in the world. And don't forget that even walking at a brisk pace every day and taking the stairs instead of the elevator counts as exercising. One last tip, even more important. Take your blood pressure and blood sugar levels regularly and write them down. When on a journey to a better kidney health, the first step is always finding ways to lower your blood pressure naturally and also your blood sugar levels if you have diabetes. Focus on progress! But only lowering these levels is just half of the equation. You also need to lower your medications. When your doctor will eventually be able to do this, your kidneys will start to improve almost immediately. This is an incredibly powerful way to put your kidney health back on track fast. The question now, how can you have a 91% chance of success rate in reversing kidney disease? Now guys, it goes without saying that not every single kidney disease patient is always going to be able to, you know, avoid renal failure. But when you combine the tips I just shown you with the other steps of today's video, they will give you a huge chance of success with kidney health. Chronic kidney disease is a very serious condition, but if you take all the steps of today's video, I can really tell you that you will be able to see a huge difference. And the reason is because now you are putting your health in first place. You are giving your body all the importance it deserves, which is something almost no one ever does, really. So if you are getting informed, if you are taking steps in the direction of a better kidney health, if you are eating healthy, if you are exercising, then congratulations! You are giving your best to fight for the most important thing in life, health. And that really is all that matters. But if you think these tips are not enough for you, well, you still haven't seen the most important steps you can follow to reverse kidney disease. So time now for one of the most significant advancements in the field of kidney disease treatments of the last years. There is only another organ in the body that can take care of removing uremic toxins, the wastes that damage the kidneys. This is our number three for today. Number three, improve your digestive health to support your kidneys. Here is another one of the things that will get us closer to the 91% success rate of reversing kidney disease. One of the most powerful detoxing habits in the world is letting your gut removing uremic toxins instead of your kidneys. And taking a probiotic supplement is definitely a must to achieve this result. Fact. According to science, probiotics can speed up the way your gut gets rid of uremic toxins. When your gut is healthy, it will be able to help consistently with getting rid of what your kidneys can't remove. Uremic toxins, in particular, are a great burden for your kidneys and your body and removing them through the gut is a win-win situation. So yeah, consider taking a good probiotic supplement. And I'll talk more in depth about how to find the perfect probiotic in my video up here if you are interested. Now, achieving the incredible result of being able to remove uremic toxins through the gut and protect the kidneys on the long term is not always easy. Taking a probiotic can really help, not about it, but it's an even better strategy to pair it with a prebiotic fiber supplement. What is prebiotic fiber and why you need it? You see, prebiotics are a way to kill three birds with one stone. Oh yeah, that's right. First, they help by nourishing the probiotics in your gut. You see, probiotics are the good bacteria your gut needs to correctly assimilate nutrients from foods and also to protect you from diseases. But these bacteria don't eat carbohydrates or protein like we do. They only eat fiber and they need a huge amount of fiber every day to thrive. Much more than what 8 out of 10 people actually eat, says science. This is the first reason why you want to supplement prebiotic fiber. Second reason is gut health. Many kidney disease patients have unbalances in their gut health. Some suffer from constipation, others from bowel movements that are too frequent or watery. And believe it or not, a prebiotic fiber supplement can really help solving both these problems. Again, according to science. Some studies also show that soluble fiber may improve symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, a dangerous condition. 
Third reason, there are prebiotic supplements that will get us closer to that 91% success rate of reversing kidney disease we are aiming for. In particular, there is one prebiotic I always recommend, which is acacia fiber. This is the gum that's naturally exuded by the acacia tree. The reason why acacia fiber is interesting to us is its ability to actually absorb uremic toxins in the intestines. Uremic toxins are the worst when it comes to kidney health. When taken orally in therapeutic dosages around 25 grams per day, acacia fiber can effectively protect the kidneys and decrease uremic symptoms by acting as an intestinal form of dialysis. This is why in a study, 68 stage 3 and 4 kidney disease patients were able to completely stop their kidney function decline just by taking acacia fiber. After starting to take acacia fiber, the kidney function of these patients went immediately up and remained on the new improved levels for the whole duration of the study. This is why researchers concluded that when taken orally in therapeutic dosages, acacia fiber can effectively protect the kidneys and delay dialysis even in those in stage 4. Now our next step, the number one, is crucial and needed if you are in stage 3b or 4 of kidney disease. It was also used in the study I've mentioned earlier in combination with acacia fiber to avoid dialysis. This is one of the few things that work regardless of the cause of kidney problems and that can even help those with a transplanted kidney. It also helps those with IgA nephropathy. And it's fairly recent news that this intervention also works for those suffering from diabetes as a cause for kidney disease. I am talking about number one, the low protein plant-based diet. While medical science has proven some time ago that a plant-based low protein diet is key to delay dialysis in non-diabetic patients, recent study found out that also those with diabetes can protect their kidneys by greatly reducing protein and meat intake. This is probably the most effective step towards avoiding dialysis and, in many cases, reversing chronic kidney disease. I know that many of you guys are already following some form of plant-based diet and that's great. I'm doing that too. But the low protein and the very low protein diet are what your kidneys really need. The very low protein diet is used to treat the advanced stages pre-dialysis kidney disease. Researchers and many doctors firmly believe that it can basically stop the progression of the disease even in advanced stages. And if you want to learn more about this diet, this video appears for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless!